Hey, my name is Ryan Earnhardt from creativesoundlab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. Well, today we're going to be talking about polar patterns with recording vocal. And the fact is, is that they're all actually really great for recording vocal. I have a specific um, moment that I use omnidirectional for recording vocal. Um, and surprisingly, it's the most direct in your face type of sound. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, and then of course, cardioid and figure eight, uh, they all have their uses. And so we're gonna be talking about that today, just kind of doing some listening, showing you some demos, of course. And for this series, I do have a free download. It's Microphone Technique for Vocal Recording. It's a great guide that covers everything. So it's just a real quick reference of everything that I'm covering. So for these polar patterns, um, really what it comes down to is proximity effect. Uh, you have the most proximity effect with a figure eight microphone, and you have the least proximity effect with omnidirectional microphones. And then cardioids basically somewhere in the middle. So where this really comes into play, at least, at least in my own engineering, is that if I'm looking to add some really tight harmonies, maybe harmonies that will be panned out to the side, and they're kind of pop vocals that are supposed to be real dry, then I'll actually go with an omnidirectional setting on the microphone. What this does is it enables the vocalist to really crowd the microphone and get right up on the mic. Of course, I, I protect the mic uh, you know, with a spit screen and, and just make sure that they're not gonna blow into the mic. But what it does is because there's no proximity effect for that omnidirectional polar pattern, is that I can get nice, clear vocals that are really, really immediate and in the listener's face. Now, if I'm doing like a main vocal, yeah, you know, cardioid works good. I want a kind of a full sound. Uh, the omnidirectional kind of thins it out. So it's, it's great, you know, it pans out to the side. I don't want too much kind of saggy muddiness low end out to the sides anyhow. So you can kind of see based on where vocals are, you know, gonna be filling out the mix, how you would do polar patterns and how it can enable you to place a vocalist on the microphone. Now for figure eight, you know, it's probably the most colored of them all. I've noticed that there's a lot of mics, they have a shift on the high end, a shift on the low end. It's probably out of the, the, the three that I'm mentioning today, probably the least used, but if it had a coloration on the mic that I was using that was suited for the vocalist, I'd totally use it. What I want to do with these demos today is show you that if you liked a certain sound, a certain amount of low end in a vocal, how you could actually get the same sound, but at three different distances, uh, because each of the polar patterns will require a certain distance from the mic to get that same sound. Let's check it out. Oh, the past is gone, oh, yeah, but there's always tomorrow. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone, oh, yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the past is gone. Oh, yeah. But there's always tomorrow. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I've never done an experiment just like this one before. I've done a few others that don't you know, are just a little bit different, but um, I thought this was cool. When you think of it as just degrees of distance um, that sound somewhat similar. I think the figure eight definitely, you know, there is some difference in like the high end there and stuff. The omnidirectional sounds the, the most kind of smooth and natural, uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear how you use um, polar patterns, uh, if you use omnidirectional when recording vocals, so you can get right up tight to somebody, um, I'd love to hear about it. And of course, of course, if you uh, don't have a good room, I think that if you're able to protect the microphone and add some absorption around the vocalist and the microphone, that it might actually be better to really let them crowd the mic and really turn up the ratio of direct to reflected sound and uh, I think you, get a, you can get actually better recordings that way um, if you don't have a good room. So let me know your thoughts below. I'll be hanging out in the comments below. Mm -hmm.